topless. They went down there, they scored, and then what happened? We come and stop their extra point. Tie game. We come down, we fumble, they come down, they fumble. We just kept making more plays than they did, so something to be proud of. Was it, was it the back of your mind? Oh, that, that revenge was huge. I mean, the coaches didn't need to tell us about it. They knew how bad we wanted this win and how if we weren't going to let them stop us. So it took confidence away from us. They weren't, they weren't going to end our season. There were so many fumbles in that fourth quarter. There were about four in the last 518. What was going on back here? Was it just because it was cold or the ball was slippery? Or? Can't make any excuse. I mean, I put the ball on the ground. Our defense comes up huge, gets it back right in the red zone. I mean, that's all there is to say about it. Our defense came up huge when we needed them to, like they have all year. Was there any panic when they tied it? Um, we, we try to keep cool heads. I mean, coaches, the coaches do a nice job of calming us on the sideline. Just, just can't, can't look back. We gotta focus on uh, what's about to happen. So how does it feel? You know, making state for the first time in school history. It's the greatest feeling in the world. We've all wanted to do this since the day we started playing football. So I mean, it's the greatest feeling in the world. Talk about, I know you put the fumble down and then you, you get that shot right back. I mean, how bad did you want to find that end zone there for that uh, game winner? I, I was going to die if I didn't get that ball back and put it in the end zone. I mean, I don't know what I would have done with myself. I mean, and you know who your uh, opponent is. I mean, you know you got uh, Joey Catholic next week. And, and uh, I guess talk a little bit about what kind of preparation it takes or, you know, what it takes now, you know, to play this state game. Uh, they're a great team, no doubt about that. I mean, they're a big-time program. They've, they've been to this place before. We have, and so I mean, we got to go in there like we're experienced with it, and can't can't be afraid of Juliet Catholic because you know we're we're a force to be reckoned with too. Your initial feelings right now. Uh... Uh, this is, thank you. This is a dream come true. This is what we've been dreaming of ever since we were little kids. And you know, Lamont High School back then they didn't have the best program, and these coaches came in here and turned it around. Now we're in a state championship, so this is, it's unbelievable. Yeah. I can't even explain it. What's uh, going through your mind? I, I know uh, that halfback pass. You know, you're just sitting kind of back there waiting on it. I don't know if that's kind of what you saw, or if you just your your job right there. Just you know, don't get beat deep. I'm, oh yeah, that was my job not to get beat deep. And they they you know I knew they were going to come out and try and go deep because Coach Howell, you know, he's a great job of scouting them, and that's what they did and then I was just in the right position to make the play. So yeah. it was just well coaching. I guess, dude, talk about this this offense. I know uh, this is a team that hasn't really given up points all year in, in 13 right away, I mean, and, and really chugged out a lot of that clock in that third quarter. I mean, what's what's it been that your offense has kind of been rolling like this the last few weeks? Um, It's it's our whole line. I mean, those guys just, they dominate up front, and they had some, I don't even know how many Division One players on their defense, and our whole line who are mostly juniors, even a sophomore on there, except besides Graham, they're all younger kids. They came out and they, they dominated those guys, and you know they played a hell of a game, and we were just able to run behind them. They were making the holes, so it was, I, I give them all the credit. Have you ever been down to Champaign to ever watch the state football before? Or, uh... Uh, yeah, I was down there one year, actually. Uh, a couple, like three years ago, I think. And, you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be an awesome experience. I can't wait. Yeah.